Nishek has officially released the DB1 Dynamic Driver earphone. This is uh, this is a response to the KZDX that has been very popular. They've released their own model that has that same around that same price range to compete. It's just as you can see, it's seventeen dollars. The DB1 is just using that same ten millimeter dynamic driver uh, that um, that the very very famous EDX has and um the only thing here that would be a, a bit of a difference would be the tuning uh the tuning is what would uh, separate it a bit from the edx um but first of all if you're looking at the impedance is 16 ohms it has 106 decibel it's it doesn't have that um it doesn't have that uh easy easy drivability uh f feature that the edx has because the edx uh was uh, rated at 112 decibels it was very easy to drive so this one is slightly not easy to drive uh, compared to that it comes in blue or gray color so it all depends on what you're looking at at my getting it's still it's still using the same uh, cable the substandard cable most of the time so when you do get it you, you probably have to get uh, a an, an upgrade cable but the, the blue model is quite beautiful uh, it's quite beautiful um, there is nothing essentially premium about the shell the shell is not uh, a premium shell it's okay uh, so you know it's a cheap model so one cannot expect to to spend 17 16 dollars and get a top of the line build quality it's not gonna happen with this model um, in fact if you're gonna place an order for this uh, through the link in the description do uh, go for a cable I will have links to cables that I use that um, that at least will perform well because Cable matters for most earphones. You you kind of have to get the, the right cable to get the best out of most earphones. Uh, most earphones underperform because the cables are not uh, very well made. So uh, they just underperform and that's just it. There is nothing you can do about that until you get a, a good, decent cable. Um, so will it beat the KZDX? Will it beat... Uh, the MT one from TRN will it beat? Uh, will it beat models? Uh, not just the MT one. Uh, will it beat uh, even the EDX Pro? Although the EDX Pro is not as good as the original EDX, uh, will it beat those models? Um, that becomes a, an interesting question because the EDX uh, it's it's a it's it's an underdog hit. Uh, I would say it's a, it's a massive underdog hit. It really did very well, and uh, it's not like it's been overlooked. But for some weird reason, it did so well. But there isn't anybody covering how successful that model was. Uh, I have seen how successful that model was because it sold hundreds of thousands of units, similar to the Blonde BLO3, and uh, nobody has really talked about how big that model was and it is still to the to the community to the audio community because it's still selling out so well it's still doing so well and it's quite interesting to see how well uh it uh, it uh, it keeps selling over time so this model the db1 uh is quite interesting we'll see how well uh it fares over time uh whether it can compete uh with the other models that uh, have already uh, being being in, in the markets tuned uh, well, uh, especially the EDX, uh, it's certainly time that will tell whether it can compete. Uh, but at the moment, uh, you can use the link in the description if you want to get uh, this product. Uh, uh, do subscribe to the channel. I'll see everyone next time.